copy. Ether. Come in. Come in, Ether. This is Barbo Observatory. Are you receiving this? George, you know the last time we saw each other was for Leatherheads. Can you imagine that? You were you were 12. <laughs> yeah. And you are 25, so it's okay. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> your design, your visual design is so cool because usually the, the science science fiction movies are claustrophobic, dark in the space, and your spaceship is like a five-star hotel it's beautiful it's organic looks like a like a like a big bag so how do you you create that that kind of style for the movie well jim Bissell, the production designer and the special effects uh guys a guy named matt casimir and, and the three of us sort of sat down and drew things up for a long period i met with the people at nasa and, and the ideas of what would be possible in the next 30 40 years in terms of design and making it more organic making it breathable using mm. the Printers to design things, all that kind of stuff. So it was based on science, but it's a little bit of you know guesswork right now. Yeah. Our last contact with Mission Control. Three weeks. We've lost contact with NASA and everyone else. Is this a glitch? You really believe that? There's a lot of governments who who start to send people to the space again. So we are in a new in the new space era. And also there's some productions who attempt to shoot movies in the space stations and you know, do it for real. Yeah. Do you do you dream to do that? Do you do you it's a possibility for you to do something, you know? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? You, you want to do a junket in space? No. <laughs> no. All right, so we'll even. No, I won't. Yeah. Maya, move! Do you copy? Made a movie is very complicated and it's a long process. So, what is your favorite part? Like the pre production, the shooting, or the post production? I love all three. They're all very creative. The pre production sets the table. Uh, the production itself is easily the most fun because you're working with actors and you're working with a cinematographer and you're working with all the creative elements. And then the post production is where you close it together and make it a work as a story. But the, but the production itself is the most fun because you're working with actors and Mm -hmm. And they're creative, and they're trying to uh, they're trying to fix things, and you're trying to fix things, and it's constantly adjusting. You know, it's fun. Tell me, uh, all this snow, all this beautiful location. How do you work with the elements? Because the weather is always complicated. So, how tricky it was for you with the crew and everything there? It was tricky. We use a very small crew, very few people, when we got out there because we knew it was going to be hard to do, and we couldn't travel with big crowds. <laughs> um, and we would wait for these big walls of snow. You could see them coming towards you like a like a uh -huh. tornado, you know, and you'd sit there and we were all tied together and the cameraman's got a camera and he's got people holding him up and we'd all stand there ready. And then <laughs> and it, would, it would be like you're in the eye of a hurricane for, you know, six minutes and then it would blow through and you'd wait for the next one to come through. So it was it was exciting and it was fun and we were dependent on the weather which was mm. sort of a fascinating thing. It's hard when you're, a, you know, when you're shooting a film, it's very hard to actually say, we we need some luck. You know, we need mm. the luck, bad weather here, but we got it. Yeah, it looks stunning and, and it's real. So that that's particular, a, a good thing for, for the movie. How do you feel the new era of streaming and big production and big Hollywood movies that we are living now? Well, I think it's great. I think that the more work we have, the better. You know, all these streaming services. When I started out in, as an actor in uh, in California in 1982, there were 64 television shows at all. Period. Done. <laughs> and there was, and then they did a few movies. So now there's you know hundreds of thousands of jobs for actors that didn't exist before. So I think it's all good. Good news for everybody. Definitely. Congratulations again. Thank you for your time and see you in the space. Yeah, and, uh, and check in more than every 13 years or so. <laughs> no, I hope so. No. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. That's why I have to contact them. Before it's too late. <laughs>